Death Lord that oh dear. Please tell me that Okay at the very least there's uh, some memory still left. Very good. Okay, so Greetings and salutations to you all. This is invisible here with you, invisible gaming channel here with you. Stalking at your heart from the dark side of the moon. Um Uh, this is my fifth or sixth time right now trying to do my very best to play this game for you and uh, it, it's that easy. I to stream it and um, encoder for uh, uh, OBS is not looking too well. Is this even recording right now? Get down. Is it this recording? As per usual with my channel, the first ever uh, video is always cursed. I have to hurry and warn my master before it's too late. As usual, he'll be sitting on his crystal throne in the lower level doing nothing. <laughs> right then. Off we go now. Hmm, how did that go? I'd better have a look in the manual. Hmm, I can't understand a single word of this senseless chatter. Whatever. I have to find the stairs down. Okay, so what do we know about this game? Frankly, absolutely nothing. This is my first time ever to play it. Thus, I have no idea what this is about. But from what I can get is, this is a uh, 2011 uh, release. This was the first ever uh, game to be the predecessor to Dun Dungeon Keeper uh, games. And uh, streaming it looks like it uh, will need a different dream coder. Use was to move, hold down the right mouse button to turn, and right click on this to close the help window. Okay, let's get moving. Sorry guys, I cannot stream this game because it is rejecting to be helpful to record it for you. So what am I going to do about recording this game? Looks like I'll have to use my streaming. Don't these tunnels ever end? Talk about walking yourself to death. For the life of me, I'll never understand why heroes always want to visit our dungeons. <laughs> if I were a dungeon lord, I wouldn't have to waste my time running around like this. <laughs> but my time will come. <laughs> I could keep getting lost in these damn tunnels, although it's just one long passageway. Okay, minimap one, as you may have noticed, your minimap is at the bottom left of the screen. On the left, uh, below the minimap, there are buttons that let you zoom in and out. The third button calls on the map as you will current dungeon. You can also open the map with M. Currently, this character is right here. The goal is right here. Good. Warn the master about Calypso. Weird. Because the very publisher is named Calypso with a K. Anyway. Looks like I'll be using my stream uh, sessions time to record this uh, game uh, time since uh, looks like whenever I try to play a game online uh, this is the first one it goes complete bunkers so I'll have to manage myself with this one offline and uh, upload it for you the old style way if you don't really mind it because well 
I am not going to destroy my personal station. Uh, Wonderful. I finally reached the master's dungeon. He can only build things here in his own area of influence. Everything in this area belongs to him, no matter who built it. <laughs> so, another look at the manual. What? Damn! I could have had a better overview all along. Apparently, there's been a spell on me the whole time. Well, it's time to put an end to that. Let me tell you. Okay, uh, you have a spell uh, in your spell speed bar. Locate, uh, located at the bottom of your screen. Click on the spell to deactivate it. Oh, this what? Here? Your spell box shortcut B. Let's you access all of your spells you've mastered. Drag these to, to expect them. B. What's this? Uh, through the eyes of the Lord, level zero. Once you cast a spell, you can only see the world through the eyes of your dungeon lord, but it also gives you a power to your status. The spell continues until you click it once again to stop. Currently, I have to press this one then. Wow! Ah, now that's what I call an overview. Wow! Even though this game is a release, I believe, from 2011. <laughs> Let me check the Wikipedia very quickly. Because this is my first ever playthrough in this game. I don't want to be look like the moron who doesn't know his homework. Let's see here. Calypso... Dungeons Wiki. Because looks like Wikipedia is the first ever read. Okay, let's see here. So, Dungeons is a strategy simulation video game developed by Realm Forge Studios and published by Calypso Media. It was announced uh, August 12, 2010, and was released on January 27th of 2011. Germany and February 10, 2011 in Alien Vision, North America. Fine, so this is an uh, an Alien Visions release on 2011. Good, so this is a strategy simulation game. I very much hope truly that this will be the only game in the dungeon series that I'll have to record it offline because simply put if I have to record also the games for dungeons 2 and dungeons 3 the same exact way I'll lose my mind well, not really because um, frankly I am much more uh, relaxed and uh, comfortable recording like this why? Because I have more uh, control over the video than online. You can use number keys 1 to 9 to activate spells in your speed bar. Use control plus number 1 to 9 to switch between the different, uh, different uh, speed bars. Use uh, alt 1 to 9 to set speed directly. So these ones are for control, I believe, and Alt are these, not really sure, what's this? Attribute, open your attribute over view here, you can view and improve your attribute furthermore, here you will also find other relevant at values. Skill tree, open the skill tree here, you can view existing skills or learn new ones. Grimoire. The grimoire um, opens your grimoire. Grimoire, grimoire. You spill the book here. Examine all of the spells and the scrolls you have. Drag them into your spell bar for future use. Heroes and goblins. This list you can find out about what goblins and heroes are up to. 
can choose specific tasks for each of your goblins. Furthermore, you can review all the past dialogue. Finally, quest log. Then comes an overview of all your current quests. Okay. Hold it. Um, so, currently I have uh, easy uh, permanent. You want to sit back, relax, and have a really easy time with dungeons? Then this mode is just the thing for you. Yeah. 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 This is the first time for me to ever play the game, so I would like to have an easy time with it. Sit yourself. This is currently my personal copy of the game, and I have the complete right to play it as a secret. Of course, um, camera controls are with uh, the middle mouse button. Can select and what else is from the left click and right click is for moving the entire screen, I think. Okay. So right now I am controlling this thing and my... Uh... Okay, let's take this to, to select. Ah, good. There are the stairs heading down. All I have to do now is use the lever beside the gate. I'd have a closer look at the thing, but the manual says something stupid about selecting things with a mouse. And I have... Absolutely no idea what they're going on about. Directions one: You can click on the things with the left mouse button to open and uh, correspond until the window. Try it out on the lever. There are other things here that can you can click as well. Those are highlighted accordingly whenever you move your mouse over them, like this. This is my first ever game, so in the dungeon series. Thus, I'll uh, take my time with it. I don't mind tutorials, honestly. In fact, unlike the majority of the other players, I do enjoy them. Your faithful servant is sure to reach you soon. The new fulfill the challenges, you did not fulfill anything. Um, okay, so stand for statistics, etc. Continue. I'm a person that likes tutorials, likes to. What's this? Did you know that Ramford has one of the a magnificent grand uh, enchanting masterpiece called uh, Civilly? You should buy two copies of it. <laughs> Thank you. Basically, the game itself is. Uh, Advertising to the uh, games by the road. I believe this is an inside joke. So, guys, the those four who went online for uh, watching me play it. It looks like I, the only way for me to play this game it will be offline. It's okay, really. The old uh, style way. When one had to record everything on their own. Edit the video and then upload it. Ah, and done. Master, I, your faithful servant, Mr. Psychic, wish to warn you. Your treacherous, devious girlfriend, Calypso, is planning to overthrow you. So, is that what I'm planning? Um... I'll leave you alone with your little toy, Honeycakes. I have to look after my dungeon. Master, I'm heartbroken. Obviously, I was misinformed. Please forgive me. What? What is this? You have opened a hero's entrance, Master. Master, I was right. That treacherous Calypso opened all the entrances to the surface and lured countless heroes into the dungeon. Attack! Oops, how clumsy of me. 
I do hope you can deal with this plethora of heroes, dear. For otherwise, you'll lose your throne, and then I'd be forced to move up. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's over between us. Master, it looks bad. I'm afraid you've already gotten a bit rusty. <laughs> I will try to outline to you, to you, to you briefly how it works. Unlike some keepers, dungeon lords such as yourself, Master, are very interested in seeing heroes stream in into their dungeon. For not only do heroes carry gold with them, they also collect soul energy. But they only collect the latter when they're enjoying themselves. It is therefore imperative for us to first satisfy those heroes and then cut them down. <laughs> Pretend the heroes are like little pigs. We cherish and feed them until they become happy and fat. And, and then... <laughs> well, you know. By the way, Master, your buddy, Diablo, works exactly the same way. He throws the hero whatever scraps they need to amuse themselves and sends them just enough must to ensure that they have an exciting but survivable struggle. Okay, maybe he hasn't quite gotten the knack of cutting the heroes down at the right moment <laughs> and usually ends up losing out in the end. <laughs> but hey, let's face it, you are way more competent than that Diablo. In this particular case, the pigs are in the majority and uh, heavily armed, so I would suggest we make a uh, strategic withdrawal. Build as many, as many prestige gimmicks as possible. This will make you more powerful and help us to escape. We should hurry. We need to reach a different level before someone manages to destroy your dungeon heart. Give me a moment to understand the thing, please. Uh, the construction menu. Construction menu is located in the upper right corner. Open it and select some prestigious gimmicks to build. You can place them. I left click to order. Holding the left mouse button down your soul energy to reach the goal played at the left prestige it's many contents all the gimmicks that increase your prestige we have 77 um prestige your prestige determines how powerful you are your better gimmicks often require a higher prestige value prestige also affects all of your tributes as well what's this 50,000 soul energy. The amount of soul energy you currently have helps uh, gain soul energy whenever they are satisfied the needs. If you defeat a hero, you pull him to prison, you can see them drain of soul energy. 19,600. The amount of gold you currently have on hand comes mainly from either sort from the. Okay, so. It's supposed to heal. What is this? I believe these are the heroes, and one of them is already coming at me. So... I think that this is the dungeon lord, my me, myself. So this is the main character. Master, your dungeon heart is under attack! We'd better hurry! If your dungeon heart is destroyed, while you're busy over here, well, that would be what we call a bad thing. Actually, to be more precise, it would be deadly. Says, where's the Your dungeon heart is under attack. Where is the dungeon heart? At? Your guardian has come under fire, master. I don't believe that here. How do I? Uh, how do I? Skims, skims. I need some gimmicks. Um, how do I with bed be? Hello? That's fine. 
How do I... Uh, wait a minute. This is my first ever time to play the game. So I have no idea what to do. And filter all. And see if From hell... Uh, just to choose something. Okay, so... So this sun. Okay, um... Something, something like this. I don't know what I'm doing at all, but at the very least, let me try to do something. Okay, what else? Um, anything? Um, how do I control the main character exactly? Hey, stop! Give me this, I think. I'll be reading them later. But, uh, uh, okay, build more prestige gimmicks. Uh, I need 200. So Some far. sneaky little jerks, jerks are attacking your guardian master. Would you please be quiet? I need to focus on what I'm doing here. Something else. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm doing it. It's the skeleton hand wall. Select some of the mix. Skip me here. Give me here. 103. So far. This. Say this. I believe it's the hero's... Uh, here. Master, your guardian is under attack. I did it. Stop. I tried to go out there and help it out, but you wouldn't allow me. One hundred thirty-three. Almost done. What are you exactly? Fire angel level fifty. Okay, uh, value says 3,000, okay. Okay, we need to gain more prestige. How? I don't know. It's, uh, something else. Unholy altar. Um, here. Here. Give me uh, this one thing. I told you, my first time ever to play the game, so I have no idea what I'm doing Your literally. Guardian is under attack. Give me this thing. You bet your hearts out, I'll be reading all of this. Because I am a person who likes learning stuff. And reading them. Excellent work, Master. I think you should now at least be strong enough to escape. Those are the stairs we need to reach before your dungeon heart is destroyed. We have to go through this gate. It can be opened using a lever in the vicinity. Let's get moving. Master, now uh, am I here? Am I at here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, supposed to be a Windows uh, 32 bits game. 
not uh, Windows. Uh, For the 64 bits. I get it. We need to run away now. Go. Is that basically that? Too many heroes. Too many heroes. Um. Too many. How do I become a stronger exactly? Um, this is my... Wow, 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 wow. Quickly. Uh, Preserve Creed. Enough. Sakai okay, is about to die, and I cannot have that happening. As once it happens, it's the game over, and I'm still in the tutorial mode. Moving. Some things: flame strike, fireball, and magic missile. Good. I think something, I don't know what. That kit again. Find a way to out of the dungeon. I understand that. Where? How? I'm not the one who built this dungeon. Here. Right here, right here, right here. Can't threat of this guy. Why can't I use magic? Would you like to kill this thing? What's this? Magic missile. Oh. I, oh, oh, I have to choose where to use it. Great work, Master. Now there's almost nothing in hell. Take enemies with the right. Fight them. Move it. Good. Wow. There's a cringe. Get out. I activate magic by left clicking them. Has escaped your clutches, Master. Care. Move it. Master, we made it. We escaped. However, I'm afraid you lost your throne and are no longer Prince of the Underworld, but rather simply a dungeon lord in the catacombs again. But fear not, Master. We will soon have you back on your feet, and then we will carve you a path back to the throne. And then, oh, well, of course, we will take our hideously cruel revenge on Calypso. <laughs> but before we can do that, you will first have to gather new strength and power. 
let us plunge the land into chaos and distraction. <laughs> Calypso has betrayed you, but she won't be on your throne for long. Recover your strength and exact your terrible revenge on her. <laughs> Yum, yum, Ville. Ugh, those greedy halflings from Yum, yum, Ville are an annoying folk, Master. They are constantly celebrating some festival or another and laughing and singing and dancing. Ugh. But soon we'll put an end to all that. <laughs> you see, I have found out that there's an artifact in the underworld that could help us. The seeds of discord. Master, I propose that we set out to find this artifact. First, you will gain in power for your coming revenge. And secondly, it should be fun imparting a little momentum to these repulsively pacifist halflings. <laughs> Challenges, uh, Chef's first nightmare, destroy the magic chest, um, entrances, open the second whose entrance, do the obvious, uh, find the seed of discord, master of souls, collect 400 souls, energy, more, dig at least 10 fields, prospector, dig at least 20 fields, Mine super spender. We have least 30 fields. A hero tormentor defeat at least 10 heroes. Hero killer defeat at least 20 heroes. Nightmare 5 heroes. A star tormentor kill at least 12 monsters. Killer 70 monsters. Monster at least 7 monsters. Adventure. Never have 150 gold or more. Never have. Spin theft. Uh, never have 200 or more gold. Never have. Okay. Gold the driver. I have at least three goblins. Uh, driver. Master of goblins, four goblins, and five goblins. Can complete the above mentioned challenges on this map. Okay. This will be our start for Dungeons 1. Again, created by Realm Forge Studios and published by Calypso. And looks like it, Realm Forge had the problem with Calypso because they have literally named the main enemy after them. <laughs> Ah, Master, I hope you've recovered somewhat from our escape. Your dungeon heart is already pulsating with an ominous light and is eagerly awaiting souls. Uh, I think it would be best if you were to start work immediately, Master. Those disgusting halflings provide entire countries with their disgusting delicacies, making the surface dwellers fat. And happy! We are practically obliged to put an end to that. The seeds of discord will ensure that the halflings will soon have other things on their minds. <laughs> Master, I would suggest that you first bring all of the monster shelters under your control. That should make it easier to search for the seeds of discord. Unfortunately, the monsters in the surrounding area are uh, you know, extremely uncooperative. I'm afraid you'll have to pound some sense into them. <laughs> As I told you, I have no problem at all with the tutorials. Select a spell, convert a pentagram from your bar, and then select the pentagram with the left mouse button. Probably should get rid of the those pesky monsters first. Click a monster with the right mouse button to attack it. So energy is important among the other uh, other for prestige gimmicks, as you already know. 
Fahiro is completely satisfied. You are credited with all his soul energy as a bonus, and he will make his way to the next hero entrance to leave the dungeon. If you defeat him along the way, you can collect his soul energy a second time. So it is definitely worthwhile. Those heroes happy. Basically, um, Okay, uh, convert the first one of the gram instead of the squad. Okay, so, um, this game is a strategy, uh, simulator. Basically, this spell is good for driving up causing uh, dungeons, lord, uh, converting gram. So it's still valuable for the grams from them, however, you should know the long casting time. Okay, so this is a casting time of 15 seconds. Wow. I'm here. So this guy is the Prince of Darkness, as it said. We have... Uh, so you're saying that Soul Energy is our most uh, cherished... Sorry. Resource. This is our first ever pentagram. Finish him off, please. One. What is he doing? He stands over them and starts dancing. Excellent, excellent work, Master. Just look how your area of influence has increased. Yet remember that you're very vulnerable when converting a pentagram. During the process, even a lousy bat can pose a real danger and can interrupt your spell. Master, you just acquired a new monster shelter in your area of influence. A monster shelter gives a specific type of monster, well, shelter. Once you bring a shelter under your control, Build pentagrams for that particular type of monster. Furthermore, shelters increase your population points, which you need to build pentagrams. Master, next you should build some pentagrams of your own to expand your area of influence and bring the remaining monster shelters under your control. This, however, requires gold. The best way to get gold is from heroes who come in through an entrance into your dungeon. You open the hero's entrance by using it, which means by right clicking it. Pentagram and area of influence, the red stuff, can only build within your own area of influence. Camps must first be activated by your workers only, and then will you be able to create a new monster and bring them on. Pentagram 1. You can now build uh, pentagrams, select these uh, from the construction menu. Top of right, there's a pentagram for each type of monster. And they have different properties depending on the monster, vampires, the bats, for example. Have you a large field of vision? I have a large field, uh, give you a large field of vision, but little influence. Furthermore, vampire bats are not particularly strong. In addition to the normal resources, pentagrams also cost you population points. What? Oh, here, here. Uh, you will see population points for each monster shelter in your area of influence. Furthermore, the monster shelters also activate pentagrams for the perspective. So, so it's now are under my complete control. I can have eight of them. You can also have prison cells, right, and goblins. Let's go ahead now, uh, Prince. He wants me now to open up that uh, place, but I'd rather find some more pentagrams personally. 
Temple Trap so here at first I have now the Vampire Bats are small bloodthirsty beasts who love to sink their teeth into heroes unfortunately they do have one problem and that is their high mortality rate a uh, sword a hero sword or even strong wind can put one of the creatures out of the misery faster than you can say hits up but the bats are rather weak in combat pentagrams of this brand of monsters reveal a particular grudge area cost 60 gold i think cost 60 cost 10 prestige and population towards also skeleton warriors is a classic every other dungeon and must if you want to go stereotypical the rattling of bones spread a pleasant uh, airy atmosphere throughout the underground and quickly sends its fear into the hearts of the inexperienced heroes skeletons are resistant to magic uh, build for spellcasting heroes for many the, well, uh, fighters however they are ideal they need no living no space for your room so they do need something special interesting next up is the were rat it's a cowardly and treacherous creature that prefers to attack enemies in the superior part their unholy origin makes them more robust and resilient than one might suspect, which has proven a truly nasty surprise for them from many heroes. Wet rats are strong and can make life difficult for an unprepared hero. In addition, the pentagrams required to this to expand your own particular degree. So we'll have them both. This both. We have currently 60 world only, so let's get to it. Because currently we are still in our area of influence, I think that our uh, stats are still good enough. What are these exactly? Anyway? Menu attributes. What is this? 57% prestige modifier. So I need prestige, which is this thing, so I can start myself up. Can I have to send 10, 20, or 20, agility? Uh, so that adds more power to your melee attacks and increase your their damage. Agility is able to deal out massive amounts of damage when your opponent can dodge your attacks with ease. Agility in uh, what is being able to deal out massive amounts of damage when your opponent can dodge your attacks with ease? Agility increases both attack and defense values. Not only do you hit your opponent more often, but you can also better parry their attacks. While intelligence is always important, this goes double if you want to use magic. Greater intelligence increases both your maximum mana, supply, and effectiveness to your spells. Finally, constitution. Where a simple mosquito bite can have you seeing the stars when your constitution is weak. At higher constitution levels, may often not the attacks of similar heroes at the same time. This attribute only in, can, not only increases your health but also your resistance. So right now I have 28 uh, maximum damage. The value or presence the damage to your normal attacks. Attack value. It's your head I'm okay. Defensive value, I need more defense. Mana, magic, hit points, physical resistance, magic resistance, and trap resistance. Currently, we have zero points. Zero percent, etc. So, currently, I can't do anything about it until I develop. Skill tree. What is this? Combat, improvement, and build. Sorry about the too much reading, but I do need to learn my game. There are two uh, there are the points you have already assigned. Okay, this is the combat, I think. Proof stack. Let's place this thing here at nine. Okay. What is this? Uh, improved intelligence. Um, improved defense. Silver. Wait a minute, I have to choose between these, these things. Can't I have nine of them? Uh, this is built. Uh, light and the darkness. Okay, so for currently, I'm from attack. 
It's more since it increases uh, body protection. Okay. Is there a trade? I'll list this one here. At least, uh, what is this? Poison arrow. This one is here. What is it? Oh, this is a passive one. Um, it's like it, so I cannot move it. Um, oh, yes, yes, yes. This thing is passive. What is this? Improves intelligence. Uh, then quickly and then easily improve your intelligence with all the corresponding like, uh, results. By the way, you do realize very well that uh, someone did uh, write all of this down, and at least at the very least, I need to honor them with reading it. And then the access, uh, a passive skill, also known as your mouse pointer. <laughs> okay, uh, far sight. Wait a minute here. Um, the skill unlocks the first level of ability spell. Higher levels increase the spell's power. The spell will be previously invisible to you. The area remains visible for a duration of time. Okay, so this one I'll give it also here. Uh, magic missile. This one I just used it. So skill looks the first level of magic missile uh, spell. However, higher levels increase spell power. Attack fire. It's a balloon. Ball. The target. This is not. This not only looks nice, but it also damages the target. And however, you should not expect too much from this one. Okay, I know for a fact that so active skills have these uh, arrows, passive skills are nothing included, I think. Um, someone in Realm Forge wrote all of this down, so at the very least, I should be reading them for the sake of respecting the developers and learning the game itself. I believe this is the dungeon heart. If your evil, if your dungeon lord dies, your dungeon heart can resurrect him. Should your dungeon heart be destroyed, however, you lose the game. So make sure you keep it safe around and sound. Okay, uh, population points are needed to build your pentagrams to get population points for every shelter. Okay, um, how many pieces you may have of them occupied? Okay. If you are getting sick of reading the tutorial, give me a little bit to finish here. Smart, not even courageous, but they work without asking any questions. Drag the drag the heels off to prison. So the goblins are the servants, basically. Your monster level is the current level of your monsters in your dungeon. If you increase this value, then all monsters will start off at this level. Nice, you should make sure that the monster level is approximately the same level same at the level of the heroes in order to achieve the best possible effects. This is the level here of heroes. The dungeon, the higher, the, the more powerful the heroes are, you should try to your best to make them both equal. This says the power through prestige to dungeon permanent. Your prestige value acts like a bonus to your attributes, so if you have built prestige dungeon, prestigious dungeon, then you will be considerably stronger than the basic dungeon. Without similar or uh, ornaments, the effects of your decision is weakened outside of the area of influence. Currently, strength is plus uh, 57, so these are the bonuses I have. Well, in truth, my actual attributes are just these. Interesting. Anything else here? Grimoire. These are the spells that I have right now. Uh, through the eyes of the Lord, um, teleport to Dungeon Heart here. This is the Summon Goblin, not yet. And they have also the Convert Pentagram. It's already put on number 9. How many do I have of these? Uh, two, nine. Yeah, well, nine. Uh, basic Combat Improvement Build. Okay. Um... Prestige, pentagrams, prison and torture chambers. 
need treasures, need library and equipment. Okay, enough reading. Since we don't have anything else, we have to read them out. Let's check the center, please, first. Not much, I don't even know who this person is. But currently, I do have to I have only 60 gold here, so let's give you another pentagram over here. Good enough. Okay, a prince of whatever the dark moon, the underworld, come here. Master, look! A goblin has been imprisoned there. While well, these cute little characters aren't particularly blessed with brains, they do provide a lot of muscle power. If you free him, he will surely serve you well. Nice stuff. Hello. How do I... Uh... Okay. Hi. Oh, Master. See how grateful the creature is. It fawns over you as if you were its mother. You could probably have him jump off a cliff, and he'd do it with a smile. <laughs> but of course, we still need him for your sinister plan. Dig through to this treasure chamber so that the heroes from the first entrance can take their fill and collect valuable soul energy. Okay. Digging. Select the rock to, to be excavated using the left mouse button. Hi. Not only can you dig up individual fields, you can also make entire areas for excavating. To do so, hold down the left mouse button to select appropriate area. However, remember that this, as hard as plucky little goblins work, things as, such as hard granite can uh, be just hard for them. Uh, so be uh, do yourself a favor and don't even select those areas. The king brings you very little gold compared to the hero's lodging which is don't give in temptation and dig out the entire map just to get a handful of gold coins. However, if you counter a vein of gold or light, now that's a different story. Additional workers. Incidentally, you can have more than one worker. Your spell book contains the spell to summon goblin for, ju for just that purpose. However, you can only summon a certain maximum number of new goblins. If you want to have even more goblins, you first have to start trace the goblins maximum. You can do that in the detail in the new digits heart. Hold it, I... Excuse me. Hi. Dungeon heart. I I can raise the limit. It requires 80 prestige and 30 soul energy. That's why we need these currencies. What's this? Uh, your monsters level also. To increase them, I need to pay some. Um, so summon guardian. 150 and not allowed to be here and uh, heal dungeon heart so that's very nice very nice indeed okay um we need to let's say summon another goblin straight out huh? your animations are very funny uh, mr uh, thank you how can i yes thanks okay um, excavate this here. Go. Hi. What is this? Money? Treasures? 
Okay, find the seed of destruction, the hero's entrance, open the hero's entrance, and let the heroes stream into the dungeon. Okay, I think. Excellent work, Master. Now it would be best if you were to pull back a bit and let the heroes stream into your dungeon. For heroes not only bring gold into your dungeon, but soul energy as well. Although heroes only generate soul energy when amusing themselves in your dungeon. <laughs> okay. If you haven't dug it through the treasure chamber next to the entrance, then now would be a good time. However, you will need some goblins to work to do so. Or I already dug it. Okay, uh, go back here, quickly. Hide, 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 What are you doing to you both? No idea, honestly, no idea. Uh, is there not surgery here to collect in it some storage or something? What are you looking at? 26... Uh, 20... Um, 20 seconds left. Um, Mr. Uh, Prince, come here. Okay, three out of eight pentagrams. No need to overcharge ourselves here. Um, ooh! Um, uh, more treasure, more treasure. Uh, set. Where am I? Oh, look! There's the first hero already! Just let him greedily stuff his bags full of gold, Master. You know how it goes. Satisfied heroes have more of that lovely soul energy. Okay, understood. Why is that kept? <laughs> Here. Thank you. Hi, mister. Get him! I have a complete satisfied to you, make it easy for you, or standing. What to do next? No many satisfied heroes leave the dungeon, and even worse, take the gold they have plundered from you. So you can tell it, you should see to it. The only way to first leave the dungeon is to. Oh, sweet soul energy! Master, when you defeat a hero, you only get a fraction of their soul energy. But the prison will let you squeeze out the rest of it too. <laughs> Okay. By the way, Master, there are different types of prison cells. Not only do they differ in size, but there is also a difference in how fast they squeeze the soul energy out of the heroes imprisoned in them. Oh yes, please put him into prison quickly. You see, all that lovely soul energy diminishes over time and that would be such a waste. <laughs> Select the convert uh, okay speed up. They already did this. Convert the gram. Uh, throw them into prison. Sorry. You can throw a defeated hero into prison with a right click, however. Uh, here. Excellent work, master! The soul energy is now slowly being squeezed out of the heroes. Let us carry on and open another entrance. Have your goblin dig a tunnel through to connect it to your dungeon. Master, look, the gate. It's opening. You obviously did something right. Execute me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can throw a defeat hero into a prison yourself a right for the right click, however there are uh, there has to be a free cell available for them. Finish him. Heroes without uh, soul energy cannot be transported to a prison as you can't squeeze any soul energy from out of them. 
Yeah. If you don't want to deal with them, then problems workers will carry a hero to prison. That is, if they don't have anything else to do at the moment. Would you please just kill him already? Defeat the... You can still defeat the prisoner cell by clicking and clicking and going. Has to be a free cell available for them. Heroes without solar energy cannot be transported to prison. Are you serious again? Is this a lady? Yeah, she is. Just kill her. Okay. Finish her off, please, will ya? Not learn? How, how do I learn these things then? Challenge failed, vulture? Give me a vi- But, uh, leave, leave me. I am still learning, so get lost. Um, is it one cell per uh, person? Token. I need to move the- remove this thing and place it somewhere else. Through the second entrance. Okay, where is the entrance? Right here. Get rid of him. Now! How do I learn stuff like uh, the spells? What a mad. Bruh. The more you keep annoying me with the... How do I exactly remove these things? Um... Put the gram. Yeah, yeah, um... Is there a way for me to remove these things so I can put it somewhere else? I'd like to really change this place. Uh, demolish. Why? Oh, cash. Bruh. First and foremost, I am learning still the game. And then, I do need this stuff. Just leave me be, please. What is this? My name is just uh, uh, an adventure. Okay, give me one of this right here. Uh, correct, correct, my influence, my influence. Master, you have just received a skill point and attribute points. Get rid of her, please. I stand for gender equality. Everyone dies. There are three different, uh, three st <laughs> st st points, uh, the more... Master. You have just completed an achievement for which you have received a scroll. Huh? Ah, Master, that old bag of bones sometimes called the Zombie King seems to have uh, something to say. Uh, might I remind you that the old skeleton is at least temporarily until you've accumulated enough power still your boss? Did I have a good sleep? Oh, where are my skeletons? They were just there a minute ago. Um, Master, it looks like a few unfriendly looking skeletons just entered your dungeon. Really? Wonderful. Please take care of it. Even if they are brainless, I cannot tolerate that kind of insubordination in my army. You'd best strike down this mutinous pack quickly, Master, before they can do any more damage. Hey, I cannot even finish reading stuff here. Dear Lord. I do believe my catchphrase is literally Lord. 
as of how much I keep saying that word. I will uh, read that later. Currently, give me. You know what? This pentagrams. As I do need some more. Oh, please defend yourself, mister. I'm not your mommy. Wow. These bats are really helpful. I like to have minions. Where's that sack of... <laughs> okay, uh, where are we? Where are we? Okay, so we can invest your points. The more points you invest in the tree, the more new skills you unlocked. Uh, most skills can be improved step by step. It would probably be best if you were have to have... Uh, okay. There are three ones. Okay, so some skills have other skills such as uh, prerequisites. This is the indicated by the arrows to upgrade of course for okay so you have as i said before about the high fine you please kindly kill this disgusting hero how do i prepare myself to play dungeons i would shred it videos they infuriate me more than enough to go after such disgusting race tribute points uh, c button c so okay where did that thing go get him you have to upgrade the required skills to maximize the maximum for you are allowed to learn skills of obviously. Open your attributes overview with C. Each attribute has an impact on your other values which are displayed on the right attribute. Scrolls are like normal spells, but can only be used once the scrolls can then disappear. Each map offers a number of the challenges for sure see a scroll may so be found to carry a scroll with them. Wow. Where is that fair gun? Where is that? Here. Finish it. Ready. Every time the horn strikes, a hero arrives. Tell me another goblin, please. Let's help this, guys. Challenge mate, goblin driver. Some of the zombie king's skeletons escaped again, master. Should you stray too far from your dungeon heart, you can use the teleport to dungeon heart spell. Open your spell book and drag the spell into your quick bar, and you can use it from there. <laughs> Already done that. Excellent work, Master. The entrance is now connected to your dungeon. Before you open the entrance, however, you should spend some time preparing to meet the expected hero's needs. If you look around, I'm sure you'll notice that treasure chest over there. Unfortunately, it's still empty and must first be filled by your servants. However, your servants only fill treasure chests that are within your area of influence, Master. This is actually a rather wise idea. Or they would just trundle your hard-grafted gold to any old opponent in the area. Build some pentagrams to bring the treasure chests into your area of influence and your goblins will start to fill them, Master. Okay. Finish him. 
Can they? Oh, oh, I almost forgot the skeleton's composition. Yeah. I just have to kill it. Move it. One point only. Uh, strength. It's just not it? It did it, it did it. Um, I yes, see. Campaign. Save. No, wait, I can. I had no idea. Okay, so pentagrams, more pentagrams. Let's play something uh, nearby. Let's say thank you. Give me a pentagram. Let's say like about um. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi. What do you think you're doing? Okay, there's no mentor. Um, okay, let's destroy this from here and place it somewhere here. What is this? Good. Metagram, give me one here and let's place it right about here. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Now I, I remember that this one gave me more influence right here. So I have to increase the number of pentagrams themselves. Okay. Uh, sorry. Right here. Thank you. Um, uh, some of the, uh, the dungeons coming up. Let's see what's right for this annoying human being. Quickly. This is my first real Finish her. Bra, finish it. Move it quickly. Pass up, pass up. No need to attack me yet. Break this for me. Come here. Most energy for your eyes. Let's check the gimmick, please. I yet to uh, learn what is this? This has scrolls, I think. Finish it. Seriously, very weak. Skeletal tree. Um... Some of the Zombie King skeletons escaped again, Master. Should you stray too far from your dungeon heart, you can use the teleport to dungeon heart spell. Open your spell book and drag the spell into your quick bar, and you can use it from there. <laughs> I'm starting to question the validity of this escapes. Because I highly doubt that these are all just escapes. This is intentional provocation. I shall be demolishing my pentagrams on later on once we some more. Give me... Give me Berserk. A new spell has been added to your spell book, Master. So where do I get this points from exactly? I, um... Friends? Nope, just one. I believe these are the, the ones I get. 
Anyway, um... For how long have I been recording right now, offline? What is this? Um, okay. Okay. One self from this place, it's been... More? Okay, I'll pay it This one as well. Uh, one last two. It's okay, it's okay. What is it? Oh, the uh, pentagrams. Where's the... Yeah, that's good. No! The master, a satisfied hero, is leaving the dungeon. With your gold, we should keep a better eye on these heroes. Not so fast. Oh, come on! Told ya, not so fast. Thank you. How are you? How are you? How are you? I believe it's about two days right now. Don't worry about it. Let's keep them both. Very good. So, finish this one as well. I have no idea, as honest, what this is about, but what do you know? Can I dig through this? Can, uh, in fact, we can. Okay, like this. Okay, uh. What's up now? I don't have yet these prestige points. We need some more prestige. Um, don't have the... Perhaps I better replace some this. Some of the zombie king skeletons escaped again, master. Should you stray too far from your dungeon heart, you can use the teleport to dungeon heart spell. Open your spell book and drag the spell into your quick bar. And you can use it from there. <laughs> this is directly now straight out provocation. This are not running away. This this is pure This is pure provocation now. So basically in this game Literally what you do is you build a mu an amusement dungeon for the sake of the heroes that shall give you whatever it's up. Get rid of him. Well then, I think I'll save my game right here and stop because I'm getting tired myself. Just so. <laughs> Let me again why I want more to check out for WS. How long have I been recording now? One hour and twenty minutes. Most likely because I didn't eat breakfast yet. And also because uh, recording offline is not as much as recording online. Anyway. Oh my god. The thing is, I believe that a slow start is always something to be expected, honestly. But anyway. Sorry about the first uh, recording, it didn't work really. Also, whenever I 
had not uh, no direct following to the time I do miss the calculator. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of the viewers that were uh, um, expecting this game. Online and offline. Uh, sorry, this time only offline because I cannot just stream this. I'd like to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, new returning and new. I'd like to thank all my fans and uh, followers. Peace be upon my best of the Alfred family and uh, YouTube Friends United members. By name, Thunderstack Gaming, BH09 Gaming, Luxba, Marcos, Nitro Crash, Mark Icy, Rugging Carol Dan, Kitefield, ZVTV123, Matthew1121, Stagata Clone85, R4L, Marcel Pan Gaming, and Bobby Cypress. This has been with you the first ever uh, recording from the last play of Dungeons 1 by Rimforge and Kalypso. Next time, we'll see what will happen. Besides, after all, I am currently um, handcuffed by the size of the hard disk I have for storage because this is not on my list of line. Anyway, peace be upon you all and best of luck. Stay healthy and uh, I hope for you the best. Invisible with you, uh, Invisible uh, Gaming Channel with your second item hats from the dark side of the moon. Sign out. Peace.